the NFL and NFLPA, they have lifted all COVID-19 protocols and restrictions, meaning no testing, no masks, no um, monitoring players and social distancing and all that. It's just all been lifted. And I bring this up as we welcome you back to Outkick 360 because it's been a couple years since we've seen reporters in locker rooms. It's been outside locker rooms at NFL stadiums or at the team facility. And I wonder, Paul, does this mean that when OTAs crank back up, media's back in the locker room, which will enhance coverage of the league? Well, um, for a team like Titans, the team that I cover, uh, locker room wasn't open during OTAs, and it's not required to be open during OTAs. It's not required to be open during training camp. It's required to be open during the season. So it opens uh, – you know, in the third week of July, say. But by by NFL rule, then it's open. It's but open. They during, could open it if the, they wanted they to. Okay. Yeah. Because they used to. Vrabel doesn't want to. Right. Um, but unless they change another rule, it, if the COVID protocols are gone, the only reason it wasn't open is because of the COVID protocols. Now, I'm not going to be surprised if they all of a sudden change the media rules. To close it because they like it closed very much, but I and they can it. use that as the excuse, like, well, they can just say we liked it the way it was. The players like it without you guys in there. We like it without you guys in there. We'll change it. It'd be an uproar. Fans won't care, but it does affect the coverage. It does. I don't care what people think about that. There are 22 guys in that locker room. I counted, and the Titans went up to 91 this year. But there were 22 guys in that locker room. I <clears throat> quote unquote knew. Now, I didn't get to know. I don't know Christian Fulton. Guys that you had a had a personal conversation draft, with. Yeah, yeah. second round draft right. pick of the Titans two years ago. I don't know him. He doesn't know who I am. I haven't been able to stand around and BS with him or have a private moment with him away from any other reporter or, or we're anything feature like that. Exclusively. Right. And so, I mean, that makes a difference. You've gotten the, the same story from a lot of people because they're working from the same conversation. And now there could conceivably be, if there were 53 media, 53 different conversations out of an open locker room. That's really important to me. It may not really be important to well, you. It, it's more important to you than you think if you're an avid reader of everything that's written about your team. Just think about, I mean, how many feature stories have you seen over the last two years on guys? Not many. I mean, I think we know less about this league individually. Than we ever have. Yeah, because you're not having the one-on-ones and you're scrambling to get get your best content out immediately because if you don't, someone else who was also standing right there recording it is going to do just that. Yeah, and and those features are big like you're talking about. Also, little tidbits that you find out about a guy from being around him. Absolutely.